Alright, um, here we are guys with a new deck recipe. Um, if you're curious, I have been doing two videos for each deck. However, this one was in the update video before the last video of my Yu-Gi-Oh! whatever. Uh, um, sorry to say that that event is over at the moment, but, you know, I'm still glad if you guys, uh, join in on my duels or send a message saying, let's duel, or something like that. <laughs> um, right, right. So enough boring you guys about random stuff, this is my baby dragon deck. I, I can't do the joy voice, sorry. Uh, this is a deck I've been test driving. Um, it's decent. Not the best, but it is definitely a decent deck. More of a fun deck to play. So on the other note, we will be showing this off right now. So to start off, we have two baby dragons. It's a uh, ordinary vanilla monster. Vanilla meaning normal. Um, it's 1200 attack. Not too great, you might say. So it's level three, which yeah doesn't mean too much to me. Yeah, and um, it's a dragon. Baby dragon. <laughs> Uh, much more than just a child, this dragon is gifted with untapped power. Chaos Sorcerer. We have this in here because we run plenty of darks and lights. Um, and it pretty much helps us get past some stuff that is harder to deal with. Banishing only face up monsters, so please, if you use this card, keep in mind that you can't banish face downs like Black Lust told you by the beginning. Um, let's see. I keep removing that mic, but you guys can still hear me. Um, two King of the Swamp. You might ask why. Well, it counts as either a substitute monster, so as the other thing needed, or you can discard it to get a polymerization. But we'll get into that more off. Or when we get in the fusions. Two crab bones. Uh, am I playing e teleport? One second. Yeah, I'm playing e teleport. Okay, so two crab bones. You could basically use um psychic commander. I believe his name is. He's a level three tuner, and you can basically go baby dragon, e teleport, and get um bionics. I just prefer to Crebone, so because he can stall out if you need it, and he's a dark. Level 2 also, so you can get Catasters and Androids and whatever. One Marshmallow, I'm here for stalling, does 1000 damage, simple as that. One Morphine Jar, cycles through the deck, discard, five, discard your hand, even if you don't have one, and you both draw 5 cards. Prime Material Dragon, a very interesting card, very staple-ish of dragon decks, or dragon base decks because of how good it is. Also you can run in Monarchs, whatever. So basically it's like this, um, if a burn card, if you're going to lose life points to a burn, uh, Ukazi, instead of taking 800 you gain 800 life points. So anything you would lose, you gain. However, if it's like bad reaction to Mochi, I believe it does not do that because of whatever. I don't, I, I don't remember ruling why it does that, but I think bad reaction bypasses this card. On another note, it's got another good effect. This card is too broken, and I honestly think running three honest, three prime would be broken. But, um, let's see. During either player's turn. Oh, wait, why am I reading the fact? I could just tell you what it does. So, if a monster would be destroyed by a spell, trap, monster effect, whatever, except by battle, because battle isn't an effect, you can discard, oh, not discard, send one card from your hand to the graveyard to negate an activation of it, destroy it, 
However, if you're battling a banished deck and you dis you can't do anything because it, it requires you to send it to the grave. So, on that note, you have to be careful with this card because it does not do well against removal from plays. Two Red Eyes Darkest Metals. Very staple in Dragons. So broken. I'm not even kidding. If I was to make straight up dragons, like just ordinary dragons, this would be really broken. So that's why. I... Stop going down the traps. Okay. That's why I only run two of these. Because this deck needs some bigger monsters and Baby Dragon can't just stand alone. It probably could, but. Oh. No. So we basically have the effect of banishing one face up dragon, each special summon it. Also, you can special summon any dragon from a hand or a graveyard. Yeah, really broken, actually. <laughs> uh, Wavering. The other thing that makes Red Eyes Dark Spell broken. When it's in your graveyard and you did not normal summon this or sight, you can banish this card to bring back a Red Eyes named card. Except the B check for some reason. Which I. I don't know. That would be pretty good. Um, if you're doing, no, I'm not going to go in there. I'll do a red eyes deck eventually. Um, on that note, however, I basically want to get these two in the grave most of the time, so that you can banish this to get this back. That's a quicker way of getting it than trying to banish a dragon on the field. Oh, uh, on a further note, if you're valuing dragons. You most likely want to hit Waverns in the grave, but no, actually, you want to hit Darkest Metals. Yeah, that's right. You want to hit Darkest Metals, and then if you can, hit Waverns too. Um, let's see, two Rikos. Um, basically, there's so many other things than Raiko I could run. However. The thing is, because his first thing says target one card in the field. So that, and destroy that target. It, that's the first part of his effect. So hitting things like Gear Town or whatever. Okay, you blow up Gear Town. Now, Gear Town wants to activate. However, this card hasn't finished activating. So you send the top three cards of your deck to the grave, and since it still has that part of its effect, Gear Tail misses its timing. I I know people don't really explain some of this stuff, so I'm just letting you guys know. So if Raiko blows up a Gear Town, I believe yeah it'll miss timing. So you don't get they don't get Gajolatron, and you basically did your job, as opposed to Snowman Eater bug or whatever where it just destroys and yada 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 this will wreck a lot of different things because I'll miss timing uh, one Sangin basically searches everything in the deck except chaos wavering red eyes and there was another one wasn't there and prime basically that's all you know it's a dark time wizard two of them Two time wizards, you toss a coin. If you call it right, destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. However, there is always a downside to cards that revolve around tossing a coin. As like this one, if you call it wrong, all your monsters are destroyed, and you lose life points equal to half the total attack of the destroyed monsters. So time wizard by itself, fact activate effect, if you call it wrong, you lose two fifty very devastating. I don't know why I don't actually know it'd be broken if you can if they would lose life points. So um yeah this is a pretty risky using card. I wouldn't recommend summoning it and using the effect unless if you're really sure. I thought I had an honest in here. I really thought I had one in here. Oh well. But uh you can run honest with this and deal five hundred damage. Uh, on that note, this card, just be careful, very risky, you're not playing second coin toss, so you have to be careful about using this. 
Uh, mostly in there for the fusion base, though. Chagodia. You can run Gores. However, this card has heavy balance of back row, so I wouldn't really run Gores, but you can trade out Trag for Gores because, I don't know, because you can. <laughs> On this other note, let's get to the spells and traps, shall we? Uh, that's not a gross when I said that. Dragon's Mirror. Uh, from your side of the field or the graveyard, you basically see us a lot. You can see um, Five-Headed, which we do run. However, this is mostly used for the Dragon, Baby Dragon and Time Wizard. Since you're going for a Dragon-based Synchro, or not Synchro, Fusion, you can get out to 1,000 Dragons or whatever, but there's another Fusion I like to use. But we'll get into that in a little bit. Anyways, use this, banish two cards from your grave or the field, and you can bring out a dragon fusion. Broken, right? I know. Same thing as overload, except overload is machine. Uh, emergency teleport brings out a psychic type monster of three or level three or lower. Pretty good. So that helps you search up quicker. And since it's quick play, you can activate it during your opponent's turn. One future fusion. You reveal a fusion and you send to the grave the same the cards required for it. Um, no substitutes I don't think are allowed, so it's that face, but oh well. Uh, you mostly want to do baby dragon, thousand dragon, five headed, all those good stuff. Maybe five headed actually. You go five headed. Get red eyes, uh, bring back um, prime, bring back baby dragon. Even though people would be like, nope, no baby dragons on this field. Uh, let's see. Heavy storm, staple, destroys everything that's spell trap related. Wants to reborn, bring back whatever from the grave. MST, destroy a spell or a trap. Two polymerizations. Basically, you fuse together. King of the Swamp, Baby Dragon, Time Wizard, King of the Swamp, or Baby Dragon, Time Wizard. Or if you have five dragons, you can fuse them together using this too. Um, Pot of Avarice, you will be going through monsters quickly, so recycle and draw two. I don't run three because it's really not needed. Um, Swords of Feeling Light. Your opponent can't attack for three turns, and your monster fl your opponent flips over all their monsters are face down when this card is activated. I don't know if it really states it. While this card is up on the field, your opponent's blah, blah, blah. And this card... No, it doesn't state it, but when this card is activated, not, it, it doesn't mean they can't just set after. So... Two Compulsory Evacuation Device. You use this, and you send a card to the, send a monster to the hand. Um, yeah, it's very simple. I don't really need to explain it. Uh, two dark bribes. You run solemns over this. However, solemn is more cost worthy, and you don't want to lose a lot of life points in this deck. Uh, magic cylinder, you negate an attack, and your opponent takes the battle damage you have token from the monster. So 2400, activate this, they take 2400 and their attack is negated. Uh, destroy all attack position monsters, your opponent controls. Um, this one was an interesting little card I added. Um, you use it after you use Dragon's Mirror, and you can swarm the field with dragons. You mostly see this in dragon decks anyways, because they go, oh, I'm going to go crazy. Does it go to the grave or are they banished? Okay, they are removed from play, okay. Um, however, yeah, you can pretty much OTK with this card. This card is really good in most decks. I revolve around banishing stuff. Not that, not that this deck requires it, but, you know, it'll get there. Skill Drain. 
yeah, there's plenty of things in here with effects, I realize that. But, since it's a baby dragon deck, I'm mostly focusing on the baby dragon aspect of it. And since it's baby dragon's fusions don't have any effects, you can use skill drain and gain every effect that's in play on the field that's monster related. And, yeah. Thousand Dragon's like, okay, I can beat you guys. Or, Thousand Dragon, whatever. Two traps done. You might run to Mirror Forces. So, just negate them. Or in an OTK. Run Royal Decree if you really must, but with all these traps here, you really do not want to run Royal Decree. On the other note, we have Alligator Sword Dragon. That's what the King of Swamp is there for. And you can make this card right away if you control. If the only cards that people control. Wait. Oh, if your opponent controls these, my bad. If they control earth, water, or fire, at least these three, this card can attack directly. Is it really great? No. Is this deck really all that great? Not really, but. I mean, it's something other than just seeing dragons and glads and assault modes the whole time. Um, yeah, so this is really fun to play. And, yeah. Alligator Sword Dragon. <laughs> 1700 to the face. It's, um, two vibe headed. Very basic. Very basic card. Um, one thing to keep in note is that this card cannot be destroyed by battle with dark, earth, water, fire, or wind. Because that was how it was on the TV show. So, on a TV show, the only thing I could destroy it was a, a light monster. So, I mean, this is a pretty broken of a card because of its attack. It's not immune to anything, so you can basically just destroy this really easily. Yeah, I'm not really worried about this card when I battle it. Um, yeah, basically just use a light monster and destroy it by battle. Or destroy it by original means. Or remove it. Simple as that. So, um... Really, the thing you have to worry about with this is as 5,000 attack and defense. That's really all you have to worry about. Um, let's see. Thousand Dragon. I played two of them. I could play three, but I think it's not needed. So <sighs> tired. <sighs> tired. On another note. 2,000 dragons, yeah. Uh, right. 2,400 defense, no effect. Skill drain doesn't affect it. That's polymerization for 1,000 dragon or alligator sword. When you get enough dragons, use dragon's mirror to get this, or use future fusion to get this. And yeah, that's all I really care about to talk about in this deck. So I'll run over to sync worlds real quick and show you guys. I think they're just staples, run around every synchros you want to. I think they're just staples. I could run Trident in here actually. No, I can't. Trident needs a dragon to Okay. Um. I could go into Taz. Gitasser, Army Arm, Black Rose, Bionic, Goyo, Android, Orm, Archfiend, Stardust. Thought roller. Um, I don't think you run up darks in here. Uh, you can run a dark end in here, dark end dragon. Um, on a further note, that was a deck. I know it's not really the most impressive of all baby dragon decks, but I wanted to really make this because, oh, look at him, he's so adorable. And he pretty much wrecked that one duel. <laughs> Him and Time Wizard just sitting there whacking away at light points. So, on the other note, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the deck recipe. Or I hope you guys enjoy it. Or I don't know why I keep saying I'm glad you did. Because you didn't see the video yet, whatever. So, on the other note, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I hope you enjoy the deck. If you have any suggestions on decks I should make or anything about how to improve the deck, you can give it to me as soon as you want to. You can tell me. <laughs> I can also go ahead and rate, the, rate this deck. Do you think I did pretty good with it? Because I, I have hard times building some decks. I mean, probably not this, but like some random decks that I'll show later on. So, just tell me how I'm doing with these because I'm kind of worried that I'm not going too well, but I don't know. This deck is very fun to use in tag duel as well. And I really hope I can see someone playing this. It would be pretty amazing. So, um, I babbled on enough. Uh, see you guys next time when I do something Yu-Gi-Oh! or whatever game related. See you guys, where's my remote, next time.